What is going on Lego investors? So today we're going to talk about some sets and I'm just curious, do you invest in these sets? Are you hardcore on these sets where you'll buy a ton of these because you'll think they'll do well? I personally avoid these types of sets because I just think the risk isn't worth the reward. Although there is one way that I might buy some of these sets. So I'll give my thoughts and opinions on it. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. I see mixed reviews on this. I see people talking about these sets on Facebook all the time and how they're picking some up, searching for them, waiting for them to go on, go on clearance. So I figured I would make a video on this and yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. So today we're going to talk about poly bags. Yes, poly bags are a unique investment. We've gotten a variety of themes and sets in the poly bags and I just tend to avoid them. They retail for $4.99 and they just do not do well. There have been some sets that have done really, really well, but overall, I think they're just mass produced to the point where it's it's just not worth it. Maybe if they had a shorter shelf life, I would be interested, but I tend to avoid poly bags. Maybe there might be that one-off Star Wars set or a different theme that I might purchase, which we'll talk about in a moment. But just as an example, right now we have the NASA Mars Rover Perseverance that is in the polybag form. I love the much larger set of this, but in polybag form, I think it, I think there's just no profit to be made. Typically, they might sell for around $8, and then when you go to try to sell online, the fees and shipping and all of that just eat away at the profit. Although in this example, I, I, I think they were clever in making it look like the Perseverance. I, I definitely think they knocked it out of the park. In a lot of other sets, they've done a great job. But overall, I think this is just a bad investment. And I, I want to hear, are there people that watch this channel? Do you invest in poly bags? Have you, have you hit, it, hit jackpots with poly bags? That's what I need to hear. And that's what other investors want to hear because maybe we're missing out on something. And if you, if you strongly believe in the poly bags, I'd love to hear that because if you make a great enough argument, I might consider buying some in the future. So let's take a look at some sets that have came out previously. I can't really get them to come up on Brick Economy. So I'll just, I've just done them individually. So like we've got the Pelican, poly bag this one is a three-in-one and i really think it's impressive that you can get a three-in-one set in the poly bag form it, it's shocking but this one retailed for 3.99 and it's got a value of 4.98 and yeah they did raise the price on the poly bags which lego is just being greedy that's insane these poly bags should be four bucks just like the individual series minifigures those should be four bucks also shame on you lego and then we've obviously gotten a ton of Harry Potter poly bags. This one, for example, the Hermione study desk. You know, this one's got 31 pieces, one minifigure, which is unique. And when you're investing, you want unique minifigures. So they can definitely be unique in poly bags. This, this, is, this is showing you that they can. And it retailed for $4.99, got a value of $9.99. And then let's take a look at another poly bag set, which is the Monster Fighter Ghost. Sounds unique, but yes, this is the theme, Monster Fighters. And this one retailed for $3.49, and it's got a value of $25. So, this, I mean, this just proves right here, there can be money in poly bags. You're looking at a growth of 616%. That's just absolutely insane. And and I wouldn't be surprised you pick this up on clearance. You can, you can earn even more money. The set comes with one unique minifigure, which is the Ghost, and that, that's got a retail or a value of nine, $9.19. So really, really shocking that this one is pulling in big numbers. And then let's take a look at an oldie. This one I love. And probably, I, I want to say, if they come out with a knights or castle type poly bag, I'm definitely going to consider it because I love the castle themes. I love anything knights related. They have a history of doing really, really well. So if I can build an awesome knight army or whatever it may be, I would definitely consider purchasing a polybag form. So this one came out in 1992. It's got two minifigures and they're both unique. And it's really, you know, I, I wish we kind of got sets like this now because I think they would do much better than other individual sets that we've seen. So this one retailed for $3.49 back in 1992. And it's got a value of $157.05. That is a 4,400% 4, 
growth. Absolutely insane. Now, anything Knights back in 1990's time obviously will do amazing. If they came out with any Knights now, would they do anything near this? No. We would probably be looking at maybe like a $20 set. But it's just shocking that LEGO even had poly bag. They were making poly bags back in the 90s. That That's really awesome. So this is one theme, and I'm just going to say knights or castle theme. I would really, really invest heavy in. But other sets, it all depends. It would probably be maybe a Star Wars minifigure that I would be searching for. But this is really the only one that I really would go hard on. And then let's take a look at uh, a Star Wars set, which... I will I will absolutely admit when I saw this back in 2016 I thought this set would have done really really well in retirement just because of the color and I wasn't factoring in just how horrible The Force Awakens is as a movie but I probably would have went really really hard on this set just because of the color theme and it's only got a value of $6.42 so I would probably be losing money trying to sell this online because with poly bags, there's no way I would sell these locally. I, w I would never sell any. The these are types of sets that I believe you would have to sell online. So that's that's one reason why I don't invest in them. And just the risk is too it's too great. When you get in in poly bag form, you're looking at a such a higher inventory of a set and minifigure compared to a normal set. So that ultimately drives down the price. Now, if we were looking in a different time frame, like, you know, 2000 to 2010, you would have much less inventory. And yeah, poly bags might be a decent investment back then. But nowadays, with how much Lego is mass producing poly bags and just sets in general, poly bags, I think, are a terrible investment and you will probably lose money. But hey, if you disagree with that, I want to hear those arguments. Please do not be afraid to disagree with me on on opinions. You know, everyone's got an opinion. There's a different, different investing style for everyone. And I make these videos trying to hear your opinions because I want to build a community and help other investors see other investors' opinions to, and hope it helps them out because it definitely helps me out. So let's take a look at some poly bags that are on eBay and we'll just go through a few of these. You know, Clone Trooper Polybag minifigure, this one less than six, which I totally would expect the Clone Troopers to do very, very well. But like I said before, they're mass produced and it just drives down the price overall. And then we got the X-Wing Starfighter. This is $2.76 with, with five different bids. That just tells me there's no money in Polybags. And then the ATST, $2.76, and you got seven bi bids. And... The Harry Potter, this one's 650, 10 bids. So it tells me actually two things. One, there's not a whole lot of money in poly bags. But two, people are interested in poly bags. And then we got the Finn mini uh minifigure, which is going for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. And then let's see what else we got here. Obviously the Batman that just came out, you know, everyone was searching up for that. That was like it hit ten dollars and then it's come back down to a roughly around four to five dollars. Let's see, we got the Space Hover Bike. This one's $10.99 plus $4 shipping, so that's pretty impressive. And then we got the Lego Creator, Me Creator Mega Muscle Car. This one's $5.49. And then we got the Lego Batgirl Mini Set for $7.99. So yeah, overall, I think this just reinforces my point. Now this one, the ATTE Mini Walker, impressive for $20. That's that's really, really awesome. And then the German Shepherd for $9. bucks. i am surprised that one's going for nine bucks I, i'm i'm shocked on that one and then the first order stormtrooper i mean there's just so many different kinds of poly bags out and they're kind of all over the place and right now we've got the a aat that one's for six dollars which i saw someone post on facebook saying they were buying a ton of these i think you're i think you're pretty crazy if you're gonna buy a ton of those actually sorry i've got to go back to my statement of before buying the knights if anything lord of the rings comes out in poly bag form I'm going hardcore. I don't even care if I lose money. I love Lord of the Rings, and I love anything Lego Lord of the Rings. So I'm throwing that in, in my list. That is awesome. I honestly did not know that they had uh, a Mirkwood Elfguard poly bag. That is so cool. I Oh, man, if they came out with those right now, that would be absolutely phenomenal. And I would go, I would buy a ton of those. 
I, I honestly don't even care if I would lose money. Anything Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, I'm buying. And then let's see, what else? Do we got anything else going on that's really unique that I, I wasn't aware of? That That's awesome. That I, I did not know that was in poly bag form. Like, look at these old, old 1992 bags. The the Black Knight's Dual Defender, which we looked at, $99. Treasure Cart, $49. Absolutely insane. The Winter Soldier, I'm shocked on that. That one's $16. I, I just really can't see anyone paying a premium for anything Marvel. Marvel is a bad, bad investment. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything. I hope you got a general idea of the poly bags. And I, I need to hear your opinions. But overall, poly bags are a pass for me, except for anything Knights related, and then Lord of the Rings Hobbit style. I'm throwing those two in where I would buy, and I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and opinions. But anyways, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.